All right, I'm going to show you the controls on the 2020 Freightliner Cascadia. So we'll start on the steering wheel and then we'll move to the door and then we'll do the dash and all. So here we go. So we have our answer the phone, hang up the phone, obviously. Flash our headlights, flash our trailer lights. That's for letting people over, telling them thank you. And we have cruise control and this controls the screen right there brings up additional pages and over here we have volume up volume down for the radio this pad can scrolls through the screen and this pad goes back and over here on the door we have our door locks we have our windows we have our mirror heat and then we have our mirror controls left right mirror and this controls everything and down here obviously we have our key and our hit lights headlights and our fog lights and we have this blinker control high beams and uh, washer fluid all right now getting to the main part here we've got oil fuel gauge rpms this is our main information screen i'll go over this in another video because there's several screens i don't want to take up time on this video miles per hour our air gauge and our water gauge the air gauge is for the truck and trailer uh, tells me how much is in my tanks and like I said, water temperature. Coming over here, got our shifter here. It's an automatic, so it's got drive, neutral, reverse. Uh, it says manual, but they've got that shut off. So it's only automatic. And then it has my engine brake. If I pull it down, that goes into my engine brake. High, medium, low, and then off. To shift it, you just this little knob here and turn it reverse or drive, and that's it on that. And down here, we've got trailer brake that you can check the brakes, make sure they work, make sure you don't have any air leaks and stuff. I'll go over that one of these times too. So then we have our uh, sleeper light, our dome overhead for the sleeper ambient lighting if you don't want the bright dome light or footwell for down here um, at night so you can see what's going on if you need to our dome light our flashers utility lights for the back of the truck when you're hooking up the trailer see what you're doing Traction control. I don't know what this one is. LBW. I don't need to use that. Engine uh, shut down override. HSA. I don't use that. And our light test. The light test. Um, when you hook up the trailer, you push that. And it flashes all your lights. Turn, turn things on. High beam, your low beams, check all the lights, make sure everything's working fine. Down here we got our trailer brake, and our parking brake. And we're looking for the interaction differential with the market. Uh, release your kingpin so you can it from the trailer. Air slide, I can slide the fifth wheel to adjust the weight. And this lowers my suspension so I can get out from under a trailer. That's my tri-pack, which is basically a generator that can run everything while the truck is off. My heat, air conditioning, my refrigerator, microwave, all that good stuff. And we have one, two, three power outlets, uh, AC controls. That's my video for my onboard camera, which is up there behind me. Uh, sun and then my PSI that 
it tells me how much weight's on my truck. I'm showing zero right now. The truck's off. But it's 50, so it's not going to show very much weight. And obviously, there's my radio. And that's it. For dash controls on the freight uh, I'll show you more stuff later. Start going over it. Truck. I have it for about a week now and uh, just getting used to everything so I'll do more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching.